It was almost a chance overseas elite never happened. We only had four guys. We were begging for a fifth guy. We didn't think we had enough to get it done. It was kind of a scramble. Um, we assembled a good team. We thought we had the pieces, we had the players. Just the problem was just getting everybody, you know, on the same page at the same time, at the same location. I played an early game with the Thunder and ended up flying out to catch a flight to get to the TBT game. And I get, I didn't even know the whole flight. I didn't know when I landed. My agent picks me up from the airport in Atlanta and it, I don't even remember, it was a 30 minute uh, drive to the gym. I hop in the car and he just looks at me and he was just like, how you feel? I was like, I feel good, you know, I'm, hopefully we can get a win first game, you know, see what it's like. And he goes, oh, that's good, man, but you're rested, body feels good, cause uh, you're our fifth guy. So, you know, I rolled it up to the gym. I think I was 20, 30 minutes before tip off. He was telling me about, you know, we might, we were gonna have to forfeit if your flight got delayed and all this and that. So I ended up getting there 20, 30 minutes before. We threw five on the court, played the game, rocked, and, and ended up getting a nice win. Essentially, Travis Bader was uh, the key to the start of, <laughs> of, of the dynasty. Being able to set up that team, being able to put together that group, those individuals, that talent, those personalities too, because you look at the team and there's a lot of personalities on that team. So being able to just kind of manage just everybody's personalities and the talent, um, it, it was a special group and it kind of kept growing throughout the years, obviously. I, I just can't see anybody else winning four, whether it's NBA, um, collegiately, even in high school, like to win four championships in a row, um, you need good chemistry, you need guys who buy into the role, you need good health, um, and you need guys who whose egos don't get too big.